Oh, this is like a wonderful beach ride here. <laughs> so nice with the breeze. What's great about the, the bayfront or the waterfront is that it's an incredibly diverse series of conditions. You get all these kind of sneak peeks back into the downtown, back into the city. Mm. You see some of that vibrancy that's really begun to happen along Palafox and within the downtown core. There were these incredible, like epic views out of the bay and out of some of these shorelines. Um, so there's a lot of potential, there's a huge amount of potential there. I think one of the biggest questions Pensacola has is how do you get from the intensity and vibrancy and excitement of the downtown core to the waterfront itself? It was actually quite difficult to bike along the waterfront. We had to go over a number of curbs. Um, we had to take some roundabout routes to move around private parcels and buildings. You have to walk through parking lots, you have to walk longer distances, um, there's a lot of barriers in the way. So one of the um, best experiences I think was kind of crawling down through the weeds at Bruce's Beach and really getting down to the water's edge and seeing the kind of incredible, I mean coming from New York it's like incredibly clear water and like pristine white sand forming this small urban beach, this little cove overlooking a marsh overlooking much of the waterfront, the Maritime Park. There was just an incredible uh, kind of place there. It felt really like a strong, strong destination, but it was very difficult to access. But with a couple of tweaks, with a couple of street section reconfigurations, a couple of uh, bridges, a couple of places of road diets and adding more pedestrian and bicyclist infrastructure, the waterfront would really be unlocked as a like, huge opportunity of connecting to the bay uh, could really help kind of link back and improve uh, what's happening already in downtown. You know, we really see the workshop that we're advancing as a small catalytic starting point that kind of helps think differently about Pensacola's bay and waterfront edge. I think it's really about kind of inviting these different players into the room and having these interdisciplinary conversations. Because of the water, this park, people are, are fighting much harder and spending much more to live downtown. So what do you think about doing things like this, where maybe you have a primary path and then you have opportunities to go out uh, without a doubt yeah, at the water side. they're already kind of there now but they're because they're not connected here's what people do they drive down experience the node and go away i could hand them 50 million dollars and it won't succeed as a development unless this happens the, the brooklyn project that we showed that is private development and they the city required that they maintain public access along the waterfront and that's, I think, given the amount of private ownership along the waterfront here, I think that's a really important strategy. Well,